It's a school district without air conditioning, and with 90 degree temperatures outside, it's not hard to imagine how the heat and humidity feels inside Ms. Zimmerman's second grade classroom at Central Elementary School. We drink water bottles so and turn the fans up and like turn some lights off. I stay under a shade tree. Yeah, but what about when you're inside? Uh, sit under the fan. The essentials in this class aren't just paper and pencil. On every desk, you'll find a water bottle. Go to the water fountain, get it, and dump out our hot water, fill it up again, and just try to keep cool. So when is it too hot to stay in class? This summer was a summer where with 100 degree heat, we knew beginning of the year that this was going to become an issue. So uh, the superintendents of Pittsfield, Southeastern, and I got together down here for about three weeks this summer and we decided to address a plan to finally determine how to get out for heat. Superintendent Marty Cook now checks the heat index three times during the school day at 9, 11, and 1 o'clock. If the heat index reaches 95, it's an automatic early dismissal. With parents in our communities, they understand daycare is going to be a problem for heat dismissals. Um, and we wanted to come up with something that we could give them which would let them know if we reach this temperature, this heat index, anticipate an early dismissal. Cook says later in the fall he'll check back with his teachers to see whether or not that temperature scale worked well or if it needs to come down to a lower temperature. It's been a plus for us, at least at this point, because we have to deal with heat every year, and so we might as well come up with a definitive number that will help us make that decision. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, Camp Point, Illinois.